first of all, like I said, we, you, you've got to develop a, 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 a culture for defense. Now, you know, in Cleveland, we have some guys who can really defend, all right? We have some guys who really can't defend, and we've got to try to hide them, you know, put them on matchups that work for them, okay? But the technique part of it is something that everybody can work on, all right? The number one thing, can I get a ball? Can you get a ball here? Thank you. Okay, so if the ball's on the top of the floor, okay, we're always in, we're always in a help position, okay? All right, some teams want to go out and deny, but if you guys especially are playing in the zone, you know, you're looking something like this. You got maybe someone on the ball in this area right here is the second defender, okay? When that ball is moved to the wing here, we call what we call a closeout. Okay, so you're closing out. The defender is closing out to the ball. And in the NBA, most of the teams have a simple philosophy on that, is that when you close out to the, on the ball right here, you want to take away the middle drive. All right, so what do you do with that? So you get yourself about half a body up on the top side right here so that the drive has to go towards the baseline where there's a lot of help defenders and it also keeps the ball on one side of the floor. If you allow them to get into the middle, like if you come this way and he drives into the middle, now the whole court opens up for him, all right? He's got his obvious drive to the basket, but he can spray the ball to either side. If we keep him on one side, that limits his ability, and the passes that he has to make now are somewhat limited, a little bit longer, and across the floor opportunity for steals, deflections, things like that. So that's the first thing that we try to do, okay? Second thing we try to do, on our closeout right here, we tell our guys we close out with high hands, okay? And the reason that we do that is to take away the shot or to be ready to challenge the shot. It's uh, so, many, uh, so much analytics goes on in the NBA now where they chart every single thing that happens on the floor. So if you want to play the percentages, you know, I don't know if any of you are gamblers or not, but if you go to the casino, okay, and you're playing blackjack and you don't play the percentages, you're going home pretty soon, okay, and a little bit lighter in the pocket. So playing the percentages is always a smart thing, all right? So when this ball is thrown and the closeout occurs on the top side, okay, we, we always teach our guys, okay, close out with a high hand, okay, a high hand. This, is, this discourages the shot because, just back up a little bit, thank you. Okay, if you close out with your hands down low, close out with your hands down low, okay, this shot is nice and clean right here. I can see the rim, I got nothing else. I got a body here, but that's not that, that's not that much. Back up a little bit. Okay, now close out with a high hand. Okay, now that's totally different right here. Okay, that's totally different. Their percentages significantly go down when you close out with high hands. So that's, that's the first thing that we try to teach our guys to do. All right, can I get two more uh, players out here? Any two. Okay, you be on offense, you take the ball right here. Okay, you be on defense. Okay, second thing we always teach our guys, okay, I'm guarding the ball right here. This is my man, all right? So I'm gonna shade a little bit. He's in the middle of the floor, right? So which way do you want to send him? Okay, you got to figure that out. Okay, trying to send him maybe to his weak hand, but just say, for the sake of this drill right here, we're in this type of position right here. All right, so I'm guarding the basketball. He's in his help position. We always teach our guys, I'm guarding my, I'm guarding my man and half of somebody else's man, whoever that is, wherever that is. All right, so you're guarding this man, but you're also got half of this guy right here. Okay, he may fall down and start to drive. We got to be there to help. Okay, so we teach our guys that when the ball moves and you're on defense, you have to adjust your position. If you don't adjust your position, you're basically out of defensive position. Every single time the ball moves, you have to move. So when the ball goes from position A to the wing, position B on the pass, go ahead and make that pass. Okay, this player here, okay, no, we're not going to deny. We're going to drop right in here, okay? And we're going to be in this position, all right? In case there's a fake to the baseline and a drive to the middle, 
okay? And he, stump, he starts coming. Boom, we're, we're there to stop him. We're there to help our teammate, okay? So we're guarding our man and half of another man, okay? So let's start with the ball right here, okay? Make that pass and get right to that spot, okay? Little technique thing, little technique thing. But we teach him, put the ball here. Okay, so I'm guarding right here. I got you, just slide out of the way. I got you right here. Okay, make that pass. Okay, I am running to this spot. Okay, I'm not, I'm not hopping or sliding. Okay, I am running to this spot to get here. Because as soon as this guy sees me here, he's not gonna drive middle. He's just not gonna do it. Because I'm standing right here, he's got nowhere to go. Okay, and I'm ready to get back to my own man. Just like that. All right, let me get two more, two more players. Let's put you on the wing. I'll tell you what, let's put you in the post. Let's put you in the post. Okay, so the ball's right here again. Okay, be on offense and be right in the, in the low post area right there. Okay, so the ball is right here. Now, again, let's assume there's five guys on the floor. So it's another guy over here, another defender. All right, so when we're in the post and that ball gets thrown to that wing, same thing. I'm off and I'm guarding and I'm protecting right here, okay? In case there's a, a penetration, a drive, or whatever. So I got myself right to the front of the rim and I'm in good position in case anything happens, all right? So let's put the ball back up on top, okay? And let's make that pass to the wing. Let's get there, good, there we go, all right? We're all in position. Now these are the same concepts you would use in zone or man to man. So it's the same, it's the same exact thing. All right, take it back. All right, let me get two more guys out here. Just put you on the opposite wing, one on offense, one on defense. Okay, let's make that same pass to the wing. Here, okay, now, this player has to drop. Okay, we have to drop, and what we, what we teach our guys this is usually a big guy, probably pretty physical player, probably bigger than the guy on the wing, okay? But you got to play with some physicality. The reason we lost last year to Golden State was we weren't physical enough with them on defense. The year before, we beat them up pretty good, okay? And we ended up winning. So defense is about physicality and about taking the challenge one-on-one, -on -one. even when you're out, even when, uh, when I'm, uh, playing against a bigger, stronger player. I still got to have, I got to take that challenge. So what we tell our guys is to sit right on top of his top leg. Sit right on it. Put your butt right on his leg. Okay, get down in a little bit of a stance. There you go. All right, and we're just going to, we're going to stay right on top of him right there. All right, so that's, that's one of the other concepts. Let's take it right to the top. Okay, go back to your man. Okay, make that pass. Okay, drop, let's go, get right away, drop, exactly, get right down in there. All right, let's get two more players out here. And let's put you guys in the post. Okay, one guy on offense, one guy on defense. Okay, ball's up top right here. Who's on, uh, you on offense? Okay, all right. So we're in this normal position right here, both defenders, okay, we're making contact. Same thing you would do in a zone, same thing you would do in man-to-man. -man. That ball gets swung right there, okay. A lot of different things you can do here. You can play in front. You can three-quarter like this, okay, which is what we usually try to do. We three-quarter right here, all right? Be nice and physical. Try to get this guy off the block, all right? Swing the ball back, okay? Close back out here. Now you're, you're, you're in your help position, all right? Swing it again to this side. I'm sorry, to this side. Okay, drop. Let's go right into the paint right here, okay? And we're playing, we're, again, we're playing multiple guys. So it looks very similar to a zone, right? Okay, it's pretty, pretty similar movements to the zone. All right, let's, make, let's move the ball a few times back and forth. Just start it on top, hold it. Let's make sure we do two things. We close out properly, okay? Okay, when the ball is thrown, we're closing out so it's a no middle stance. All right, and we got our hand up here to contest the shot. All right, here we go. Let's move it back and forth two or three times. Drop, good, good, good. Bring it back, there. There, good. Okay, get a little bit closer now. Okay, let's try it again. Let's put the ball right here. Okay, make this pass. Close out. Good hands, good, good. Let's make sure too, we're down nice and low in a good stance, all right? We don't wanna be looking eye to eye with people. 
Okay, when you're playing defense, you don't want to be looking eye to eye. Because if you're looking eye to eye, okay, you can get knocked off balance. That means you kind of straight up and down. I'm looking right here, push me in the chest. Okay, that's hard for me to keep my balance. All right, now push me again. Okay, I keep my balance. So it's really important at the defensive end of the floor because there's a lot of action. There's a lot of screening, there's a lot of cutting. If you're playing straight up and down and you're erect, okay, you're gonna get thrown off balance. Somebody's gonna be able to cut on you. Someone's gonna be able to come off a pin down screen or something like that, okay? And that, again, that's the, whether it's zone or man to man, okay? It's the exact same thing, all right? Okay, let's, uh, let's start it on top right here. Okay, let's swing it right here. Close out, okay, move in, good, swing it back. Good, close out, good, 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 nice, good work guys, good work, come on, keep moving it, let's go, keep moving it back and forth, keep moving it back and forth, good, 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 keep moving it back and forth, good, 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 all right, stop it right here. Now the ball goes in the post, all right, we're trying to get, not let it go in there, but it goes in there, it's going to happen in the game, ball's going to go in, all right, what we try to do, this guy's going to probably cut through, okay, so what we try to teach is to not let him cut baseline right here because it's easy to hand it back to him and he's got a quick layup all right so as soon as that pass is made we get right to his body on this side and we try to force him to go through all right he's going to go through the lane stay right on his body stay on his body okay and then we do what we call tagging okay so everybody is going to tag this guy and when i say tagging i mean i'm just going to i'm guarding here go ahead through go ahead come on i'm tagging him okay we're tagging him we're tagging him Okay, so now we're in this position, go all the way to the corner. Okay, so now we look like this, all right? So you got a, a man on the top. He may slide over a little bit. He may stay right there. Depends on what he wants to do. And this is, what, again, what we're talking about. I'm guarding this man, and I'm guarding half of that guy right here, okay? Because I got a teammate down in the low post. This guy's a handful. He's a big dude right here. I can see he can probably back him down pretty good, right? So once he goes into his move, go ahead into your move. Okay, I got to be ready to come down here and help this guy. Okay, I can't leave him on an island down there all by himself. All right, so we want to make sure I get down there and I'm digging as best I can. All right, I know I'm leaving a guy right here, right? I'm concerned about that. All right, so we're going to slide up a little bit right there. Kind of split the difference between your man, okay, and the man on top. All right, and what we always try to do Okay, and you can, do, you can be different about this if you, if you like. It's up to your individual coaching uh, philosophy. But if we're down there digging, you're down there digging, and that ball gets thrown out to his man, go ahead, throw it out. I want you to fake at him, fake. Uh, hell, I'll do it, I'll, I'll take your spot right now. Okay, put the ball back in the post. We call it stunt. I'm gonna stunt at this guy. I'm gonna st stunt and get right back to my man. Okay, and then you're sprinting right back to him. Well, all I want to do in that situation is cause him to hesitate for just a moment. Does he think I'm rota rotating to him or am I just faking and getting back? I want him to hesitate for a moment and then you got to get back. All right, let's do that one time. So start back over here. Okay, make the pass, throw the ball in the post. Make him go middle, make him go middle. Tag, 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 throw it out. Okay, let's go again. Let's do this, go with a little bit more pace. Come on back. Go with a little bit more pace, cutting through. Okay, and uh, postman, hold the ball just for a second. Okay, till, they, till he gets through. Okay, and then go into your move. All right, and then we're gonna come down. We're gonna dig hard right here, throw it back out. Okay, you're gonna stunt and recover back to your own man. Okay, here we go. Tag him, tag him, tag him, tag him, tag him, tag him, tag him. Okay, go into your move. Slide up, slide up. Here we go. Slide up a little bit. Slide up. Yeah, right. There you go. There you go. Make the pass. Stunt. Get back. Good. Okay. That's a concept that you can use in zone defenses as well as man-to-man uh, -man defenses. All right. One other thing I want to show you right now. Okay, so. Defensively, you got to develop a, a philosophy, a culture, like I said earlier, about defense being really important. Okay, so how do you do that? You got to make it fun in some way. All right, so one of the things that we do, so let's have the uh, offensive team take your jerseys and just go white. All right, so, so we have two different teams here.
So we play, a, we play a defensive game. We play a defensive scoring game. So whatever your offense is, whatever kind of defense you want to play, coach, whether it's a zone or man-to-man, -man, whatever it is, okay? The only way you can score in this game is on defense, okay? And you got to get a stop. Every time you get a stop, you get one point, okay? If you're on offense and you go in and you score, all you get is to go on defense. You don't get a point. Okay, so offense is minimized, and the defense is what really is going to help you win the game. Okay, if you can get a stop, all right, that's one point, and then you fast break off that rebound. Okay, so the white team shoots, they miss, the blue team rebounds, you guys run down the floor, you try to score down the other end. Okay, if you score, I'm going to give you an extra point. Okay, if you turn the ball over, I'm going to minus a point, so you get nothing. Okay, so that's what I want you guys to do. And one more minus, if you give up an offensive rebound to the white team, you get a minus one. Okay, so it's a game that we play usually to like seven points, all right, because then the game goes quick, but let's just play it right now. We'll play it to, uh, we'll play it to three points, all right? So uh, uh, we're going to play right now. Give me the ball. All right, as soon as I inbound the ball, we're playing live. Okay, you guys are playing live. Blue team, you get a stop they, and a rebound. We're going down trying to score at the other end. Okay, if you score down there, we're going to stop. All right, we'll just stop down the other end. We don't keep going. Here we go. Here we go. Good, good. Rebound. Good. There's a point. Go ahead, go ahead, go, go. Go. Good, good. All right, stay here. Stop, stop. Okay, so you got a one point. You got one point for getting the stop, blue team, right? But then you lost it on the turnover. Okay, so you got nothing. You're still going to be on defense. Okay, you're still going to be allowed to play defense. Here we go. Play. Go ahead. Good help. Good help. Good help on D right there. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's one stop. That's a stop. So you get a point for that. All right, you get a point for that. But you, coaches, you get the idea about how the game works. It's a very good way to get your team to really focus on the defensive end, focus on rebounding, not giving up offensive rebounds, taking care of the basketball in transition. So let's have the blue team up top and the white team on the baseline. I just want to walk through a couple of things defensively. I got it, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're, you know, we're kind of matched up. Slide over a little bit. Let's have one, one big in the middle, okay? Just match up with somebody. It doesn't really matter. When you do this drill, you can be matched up with anybody because this is what happens in transition. Again, this is what's happening in the camp too. I, everyone thinks because, you know, I'm guarding you that I only guard you. Well, in transition, you got to take whoever comes your way, okay? Whichever player is coming, you got you to guard that player, okay? So let's just walk through this just a little bit, all right? So I'm going to roll the ball right here. You're going to go touch the baseline. Boom, okay? Stay there on the baseline. Stay on the baseline right now, okay? Let's go down the floor, white team. Here we go. All right, so now stop right here. First thing we have to do is we have to declare who's got the ball. I got to yell it out really loud, okay? I got ball! I got ball! Okay, and then everyone else has to figure that out, all right? And what we end up doing, so go on down the floor. I got ball. Come on up the floor. Stop, okay, stop right now, okay? Where's my, uh, okay, he's back there. All right, so what we have to do now is we have to defensively we have to load our defense to the side of the ball, okay? It doesn't mean no good if I'm going to stay out here 
and guard you on the other side of the floor and the ball is over there. Okay, so I want to get myself into the middle of the floor area here, okay, and I want to load to this side of the floor. All right, so come on down. I right, start working your way down slowly, okay, and I'm now, everybody, everybody is pointing. I got, just back up a little bit. I got ball, I got, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Okay, you got to play him right here, okay? Or if there's a big back here, okay, maybe you guys can work it out. If he cuts, you take him, and then you can stay high, okay? But the trailing player, this guy who's the trailer, okay, whether it's two guys, one guy, three guys, whatever it is, I got to head to the weak side of the floor. So start to dribble up a little bit slowly, okay? All right? I got to head to the weak side of the floor because up the whole team, my whole team is loading to this side of the floor. Everybody's on this side of the floor. We're going to shut down any sort of penetration. We're going to take away this initial thrust down the floor, and we're going to make the team make a couple of passes. So swing it here to the top. Okay, swing it here. Again, I'm pointing. My man, my man, I got him, I got him. Okay, and then we get all squared up, and sometimes it, there may be a mismatch. Okay, we may have a small guy on a big guy. We're just going to have to deal with that in transition. Okay? All right? Let's, do the, let's take it right now from this side, baseline right here. Be careful running down the other end. Don't run into the coaches down there. Blue team's on the, on the free throw line. White team's on the baseline. So match up. Okay, I'm going to roll the ball to uh, right here to number 36. You're going to touch the line. Okay, we're going we're gonna to declare who we got. We're going to load to this strong side of the ball right here. Okay, and, we, and you, uh, the last guy down is going to go to the opposite side of the floor. Okay, that's going to be most likely where there's going to be an open guy. Ready? Here we go. Go. Here we go. Go. Good, 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 good. Nice work. Nice work. All right, coaches, so you see that's what you need to do in transition. Okay, and... It's really important that uh, the transition game is taught, okay? And so this is a drill that you can do every single day in practice, all right? Um, do we have any, any questions? Anybody have any questions about the defense? Anyone, anyone? See, nobody likes defense, man, see? If I was going to ask, like, you know, who could shoot this way or that way, I, you get 15 different... Okay, I can demonstrate pick and roll defense. There's a... Uh, I think about eight or nine different ways to play it, um, okay? But let's just have uh, you with the ball right here, okay? Defense right here. Let's get my uh, defense here. Big man, come on. Let's get uh, you guys space on this side of the floor. Maybe put somebody in the low post area, okay? Lots of different ways. I think probably one of the easier ways for the younger players to learn how to handle pick and roll, okay? So communication is key. Communication is key. So let's just start down a little bit lower. Yeah, there you go. All right, so I got this guy in this position, all right, and I'm in a, a no middle stance, all right? So as he starts to come on out, go slowly, walking out to the pick and roll, we got to yell out, screen, 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 screen. Then I have to adjust myself, okay? I have to adjust, all right, and make this guy use the screen right here, okay? All right? And now there's different ways of doing this. But say we want to decide that we want to uh, what we call show on the pick and roll. All right? You're going to start drifting over. All right? The ball's over here. Exactly. You've got to be in a position right there. When there's a two-man pick and roll situation, normally we want at least three guys involved defensively. All right? So you're going to slide over also. All right? Let's really crowd the court. Turn this way. You've got to see your man, right? Always see your man. You can back up a little bit. Slide back. There you go. Okay, you should be able to look straight ahead. Look straight ahead and see the ball and see your man. Can you do that? Can you use, the, can you use your vision like that? All right, that's what you got to do. All right, so as we come off the screen, okay, we're going to show out hard. Okay, show out. Go all the way out. Start to dribble. Okay, and then this man, I'm going to fight my way over the screen, and I'm going to go underneath my man right here. Okay, and I'm going to try to get back and get this guy squared up. Really important to have this player in this vicinity right here, and he sees me. So he's not so aggressive coming off. If I'm all the way out here, 
He's just going to turn the corner and get right down the lane, and then, I'm, and then you're in trouble, okay? So let's run that one time, one time. Communicate on that. Good, good, good. There we go. There we go. Good. Good. Good job. Good job. Okay, that's one way of playing it. Um, you know, a lot of teams will send it to the baseline. Um, you know, it gets a little complicated. A lot of teams these days are trying to switch a lot, um, switch that pick and roll, and then double team in the post if there's a mismatch or something like that.